East, she knew I was going to, and she's really had a hard time. And, and she approached me then and said, who is it you're going to and how do I get a hold of her? And now she's your patient. So. Yeah. Yeah. No, thank you so much. Thank you so much. And, and, and I want to tell you, uh, you know, thank you for coming on today just to talk a little bit about your story and offer some inspiration for, for people. You know, you, we've been working together for a year now mm -hmm. and you've made some amazing progress. In fact, um, while we do this recording, if it's okay with you, certainly don't have to do it, but if it's okay with you, I'd love to even pop up your symptom sheet. Um, so, oh, yeah. that, so that we can see it together and go over it. But why don't you start by talking about, you know, tell us a little bit about your history and what was going on with you, how long that you had been sick and what other things that you tried before you found us and, and came to us for, for some help. Okay. Um, I had um, bouts of depression most of my life and I always went to pharmaceuticals because I didn't really know much about the holistic healthcare factor. And, um, and, you know, of course, back in the 70s and the 80s, it wasn't as popular as it is now. And the momentum hadn't started. But in the last four or five years, I had constant upper respiratory infections. And uh, it just was never ending. I just get off antibiotics and I'd get another one. And it was just completely repetitive all the time. It was the same thing that happened. And then in fall of 2017, um, I had a sphenoid sinus infection and there was a fungus in my sinus. So they um, decided, to, you know, do you have to remove it? They told me there was no way you could get rid of it unless you removed it uh, surgically. So I had that surgery in the fall of 2017 and it was a hard surgery, but it went okay. And then three months later, I came down with a pretty bad case of shingles. And um, it was very hard. It was, uh, everybody talks about the pain of shingles and the pain is real. And it took me months to get over that. And shortly in April of that year, um, all these other symptoms started popping up after being uh, treated for shingles with Lyrica. And the symptoms were extreme anxiety and um, brain fog. I just felt like someone had taken my brain and thrown it in a mixer and just mixed it up and threw it back in my head. And I had panic attacks. I was depressed and I couldn't sleep. I mean, if I got three or four hours at night, I was doing really well. And I got constant hot flashes and I just felt like everything was falling apart. I'd gone to a lot of MDs and of course they always recommend the pharmaceutical route and I don't do well on uh, pharmaceuticals because I'm very um, hypersensitive to medications. And I did go on Zoloft and it wasn't taking care of the problem. Everything um, kept coming on strong. So then I went to another doc, I went from doctor to doctor to doctor to doctor. And one doctor said I had scleroderma and that was probably the root of all my problems. And he um, was wanting to treat me for that. And I just pushed back. I just, I didn't really want to do that because the drugs to treat scleroderma are very intense and um, very dangerous drugs. I started going to holistic doctors. I went to three of them in the area and I found that they didn't test. They once had the concept of one size fits all and they just put you on their protocol, which is the same for everybody. And because of that, I, I, I never got a good response. I mean, maybe it helped a little, but I was still really struggling on a daily basis. So in an effort to educate myself about 
what was happening to my body, I started listening to every webinar or docu-series I could possibly find um, that was put on by integrative and holistic doctors and started trying to educate myself. And while I was watching all of these, there's one person that kept popping up and they were interviewing her all the time. And it was Dr. B. And I, I wrote down her name because I was so impressed about what she offered and how she tested to find out exactly what's under the hood and what's going on in my life and with my body. And I uh, Googled her and I found her and her website and I started reading about her. And after discussing this with my husband, I said, I wanna try one more person because I was about ready to give up. I was getting nowhere fast. So we decided together, yes, let's do it. So I made an appointment and with uh, Dr. V and you know, I became her patient. And that was uh, a year ago. Yeah, that was about a year ago. I, I remember meeting with you the first time because you were getting ready to have that sphenoid surgery. And I was like, oh, <laughs> I was like, oh my gosh, you know, yeah, I totally, like, it seems like it was yesterday. Um, I'm really glad that you found us. And I'm really glad that we were able to get, you know, cons the, the same consistent, really positive outcomes with you that we've been able to get with so many other people. Mm -hmm. um, and there was one thing that came up for me when I was listening to, to your story. And um, that is, how, how old are you? If it's okay. 70, 72. <laughs> yeah, yeah. 72. Yeah, and um, I, I seem to remember something from that very first time that we met that you kind of threw it into the mix. Like, I don't know if this is, if this is because I'm getting old and I'm having all these problems. Um, I seem to remember you saying that and, and my response, I did. Was, yeah. And my response to you was like, no, no, like no way. Like age has nothing to do with this. You can be, you can have vitality and health and you can be strong and have a wonderful immune system and full of energy, you know, all the way into your hundreds. Um, you know, there's probably some barriers to your healing and, um, yeah, you have such a wonderful story. I, I would love to share your, uh, you know, let's, let's jump in to your symptom sheet so that everybody can see um, okay. some of what you are struggling with and how you're feeling now, because this is just, this is huge <laughs> right here. Um, it's so, huge. Yeah. So let me see if I can mm -hmm. look this here, but for everyone looking here, um, this is, this is Peggy's symptom sheet. Uh, when she started with us a year ago in September of 2019, and you can see the list of, of her symptoms where she started. Now, this is a symptom sheet that we use and we've color coded it as well. The symptom sheet goes like this. Um, it goes from zero to 10 with 10 being the worst and zero meaning no, no more symptom. Um, and you can see that in the beginning, she had quite a few symptoms that were indicated by the colors orange, red, and, yet, and different shades of yellow. Um, and now she's pretty much all green. One question I have for you, Peg, is um, if you were to go back now and redo this symptom sheet, would you change the intensity of any of these symptoms? That you have. Yeah, a lot of them, a lot of them. Because I was just looking at that, you know, anxiety five. I thought, I know I was a ten. Yeah, <laughs> you know? yeah. Maybe even higher if it goes higher. But it was, it was intense. It was bad. Yeah, and, and the brain know, fog that would be much higher. Yeah, and you know, we typically do see that um, people have either been struggling with their with their illness for so many years that they don't know what it feels like to feel normal. So their gauge is a little bit off. Um, and you know, um, or people just tend to minimize, like they just don't want to, you know, really put what, how they're really feeling. And, um, for you, what do you think it was? Do you think that you were either minimizing, uh, or was it that you had just been feeling bad for so long that you kind of forgot what, what good felt like? I think it's because I was feeling so bad for so long. I just 
couldn't remember how good felt. Yeah. Yeah. And we see that. We see that so much. So gosh, you know, this is super inspiring to, to have you on, to talk a little bit about your story. Um, I've got a couple of other questions for you before we finish. One of the things that we teach before we'll even, you know, bring anyone into our program, um, is that we need to have realistic expectations of the time that it really takes to fix these issues. And we also need to have realistic expectations as to, um, the, uh, as to the healing journey, that it's not linear. It doesn't go like this. Like there are so many bumps in the road along the way. It's just a part mm -hmm. of the healing process. Kind of like if you have a cut or a scrape and, you know, during the healing process, sometimes it can start itching really bad or, but we know it's healing, right? It's like, oh my God, it's itching. It must, oh my God, well, I know that it's healing. That's just a part of the process. And <laughs> tell us a little bit about, you know, Tell us a little bit about what you've learned during the healing process as far as the time that it really takes and, and the uh, bumps in the road along the way. I remember my initial appointment with you because you made a chart for me and this is what it looked like. And you said, this is how the journey is going to be. And that's exactly how it was. It was up and down a little bit, but eventually it got to where I'm good, you know, and the lows weren't as low and the highs just became higher and higher and higher. And that was so true. Yeah. Yeah. And Do you, you just got to have faith that, you know, it's all going to flush out, you know, when you get rid of toxins, you're not going to feel great. Yeah, yeah. And do you feel like the comprehensive approach that we have um, was beneficial to you? Or do you feel like there were things that we offered in our program that really weren't necessary? Or do you see now in the end why our approach is so comprehensive, not only with labs, but with the mindset coaching and the nutrition coaching and the biological coaching and, you know, all of these things that we've included to address the person as a whole, like, what are your thoughts and opinions on that? Well, I think it's um, pieces of a puzzle and there are a lot of different pieces of this puzzle and you're not going to get well without having all those pieces identified. And I feel, I mean, you have a customized protocol for all your patients. And it's not one size fits all. And you do testing. And, you know, and you take care of the emotional and the spiritual and the, the biological and all aspects. And I, I've always felt like everything was very, very beneficial. And, and, and nutritionist, you know, she's amazing too. Everybody had their job to do and it, everybody did it extremely well. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you so much. That's really, really good feedback because, you know, at the end of the day, whenever we're having our, um, our team meetings, which is every single day at the end of the day, you know, we're talking about and going over all of these cases, you know, including yours and getting to hear about your breakthroughs over the course of the last year, you know, uh, from the other team members, um, getting to, you know, share in your struggles and help pull you through it, you know, because, as that, you know, that healing process that, you know, when you were having your dips, being able to reach out and go, it's okay, it's okay, here, take my hand, let me pull you out of that one. You know, yes. it's, it's been really, really fun, fun to watch. And it really um, fills our love tanks, you know, to get to see people like you get their lives back and get healthy again. Thank you so much for sharing this with everyone. Uh, and That's I hope- my pleasure. Yeah, thank you. Yeah, I hope that, you know, this helps some other people who are struggling and feel there's no hope because there is hope. Absolutely. There is hope because there are answers and there are solutions. Thank you so much. And for any of you watching this, gosh, I hope that this was just as inspirational to you as it is for both uh, Meg and I. Thanks. Perfect.